As a facility or energy manager for a grocery retail store, you may wonder how you can quickly estimate the potential energy savings across your refrigeration systems. After all, you measured on how effectively you can optimize operations, reduce energy usage, and ensure that all of your store equipment is working correctly. Hello, this is Thring Sing360 with a quick video update. By applying seven easy rules of thumb, you can quickly estimate the potential energy savings from your refrigeration systems, even if you're not an engineer. Your estimates are likely to be pretty accurate but not exact. The information provided in this video can help you spot big opportunities for energy savings. With these rules, you can make quick uh, estimates in your head on the, or on the back of an envelope. You'll feel smart and you'll likely impress your colleagues. But be careful. The rules of thumbs here are averages for North American supermarkets. The numbers may vary for grocery stores that have an unusual design or sell an assortment of refrigerated goods in complex environments or layouts. Energy saving rule one. To estimate the average annual, annual power consumption in kilowatts for a grocery store, multiply the, four, the floor square footage in thousands by six kilowatts. For example, for a grocery store that's 50,000 square feet, multiply 50 by six kilowatts. Average power consumption is about 300 kilowatts. Energy savings number two. To estimate the average annual energy cost for a store, multiply 900 by the annual power consumption you calculated by applying rule one. For example, for a store that's 50,000 square feet, average annual energy cost is about $270,000. That's 300 kilowatts times $900 per square foot. Note, this rule assumes an average electricity cost of about 10 cents per kilowatt. If your cost is higher or lower, adjust the $900 up or down respectively. Energy savings rule number three. Estimate the power consumption for refrigeration systems in a store. Multiply average annual power consumption from rule number one by 0 0.04 Alternately, you may multiply 2.5 times the number of thousands of square feet of store area. For example, if your store is 50,000 square feet, refrigeration systems consume, on average, about 120 kilowatts, or that's 0.4 times 300 kilowatts, or it's 2.5 times 50. This estimate includes the energy usage of compressors, condensers, fans, evaporate, evaporate, <laughs> evaporator fans, defrosters, case coolers, and door heaters. Energy savings number four. The average power consumption of refrigeration compressors is about 25% of the total power consumption of a store. For example, for a store that's 50,000 square feet, refrigeration compressors consume about 75 kilowatts, or 0 0.25 times 300 kilowatts. Please note, using these rules can be a little tricky. Grocery stores may vary in their mix of low temperature or medium temperature racks. Your estimates of total potential savings may be inaccurate unless you measure power consumption separately for each group of racks. Energy savings rule number five. For medium temperature refrigeration racks, you can save 1% to 1.5% of total compressor, compressor power by raising suction pressure one pound per square inch. Energy savings rule number six. For low temp refrigeration, refrigeration racks, you can save 2 to 2.5% of total compressor, compressor power by raising suction pressure one pound per square inch. To estimate total savings for reduction suction pressures in a combination of both low temp and high temp cases, use 1.5 per square inch. For example, if you raise compressor suction pressure by 10 psi, you can cut power consumption by about 15%. That's 1.5% times 10 psi. For a store of 50,000 square feet, you can save about 11.25 kilowatts, that's 15% times 75 kilowatts from rule number four. Energy savings rule number seven. For both low temp and high temp racks, you can save about 0.5% of total compressor power by lowering discharge pressure one pound, one pound per square inch. For example, if you reduce compressor discharge pressure by 20 pounds per square inch, you can cut power consumption by about 10%, 0 0.05 times 20 PSI. For a store of 50,000 square feet, the savings are about 7.5 kilowatts, which is 10% times 75 kilowatts for rule number four. By applying these rules of thumb, you should be able to easily identify some of your bigger opportunities to cut energy costs on your refrigeration racks. About Sing 360. 
Sling360 is a software and services company focused on driving energy savings, improving energy efficiency, and optimizing facility operations for multi-site building owners. We specialize in building management systems, energy efficiency, utility bill analysis, and system operations for buildings, not to mention commissioning and retro-commissioning of stores. We also welcome your commission, your questions on how and when we've used these rules in estimating total energy savings for your grocery store refrigeration racks. Thank you very much.